Hello, you wonderful people of YouTube. Today, we're going to take a look how to take multiple prompts when making a call to OpenAI and chain them together, which means that whatever the result from a previous prompt is, it's going to be the input to the next prompt in the chain. And we're going to use a library called LangChain. It's very popular with Python because everybody loves Python when working with AI, but I'm not a Python developer. So I was very pleasantly surprised when I realized that they have LangChain in TypeScript, which is pretty awesome. So we're able to use all the powerful features of LangChain to work with OpenAI or other LLM models to make cool applications. So let's jump into this video and see how to chain our prompts together. So today we're quickly gonna go over what's open AI API because that's what I'm using to show you this example. What is LangChain if you're new to it? What is prompt chaining? And then we're gonna take a look at the code. So what is open AI? If you are familiar with ChatGPT, you know what open AI is. So they actually allow you to use their API to connect to services that can be used to access a bunch of their artificial intelligence models, including text completion, chat completion, speech to text, and text to image using Dolly. You could learn more about OpenAI by going to their website, logging in, creating an account, and checking out all the cool things you could do. Majority of stuff that I do, I've been using their GPT for text completion, chat completion, their speech to text, and their image generation with Dolly. But they have other features that I'm looking to try out, like doing embeddings and fine tunings. I think using OpenAI and really getting comfortable with their API to help you create cooler apps is a great idea, especially if you're new to artificial intelligence and you just wanna build cool things without having to dive into all that math stuff, cause who loves math? So what is LangChain? LangChain is a framework designed to simplify the creation of application using large models. It allows you to do cool things like creating prompt templates, chaining what we're going to take a look at today, agents, memory, and giving you ability to use other LLMs. If you wanna learn more, you could check out this awesome article on Pinecone, LangChain introduction and getting started. I'll make sure to put it in my description so you could check it out. So now let's talk about prompt chaining. Prompt chaining with LangChain. It basically allows you to chain prompts together where the next prompt is the previous result. So if you could take a look here, I'll start my first chain with the first prompt. When the chain comes back, it returns uh, the prompt as a result that is passed to my next chain and so on. Hence chaining prompts together until you get the final result. So let's take a look at the steps of how to do it. First of all, you wanna create a prompt template and we're going to look at the code, but I just wanna set the stage with the using the new prompt template method. Then we're going to create a prompt chain or a bunch, which you create by using new LLM chain method. And then we're gonna combine all the chains together using the new simple sequence chain method that you see here. And then we're finally going to run. And how do I know this is because I read the documentation and you should too. And so great resource is always looking at the documentation because it kind of shows you all the cool things we do. And particularly today, we're gonna to look at chains and we're gonna look at LLM chains. We'll show you a great example. And I'm gonna kind of show you of the example here as well. So now let's take a look at the code example. In that case, the first thing we're going to do is import our dependencies. And in this case, our OpenAI prompt template, LLM chain, simple sequence chain, all come from the length chain NPM package that we installed. The next thing you wanna do is you want to set and initiate which LLM you're using. In our case, we're using OpenAI. So here we are resetting our model. We're using the new keyword and we're providing the temperature and our open API key. Once that's set, we're gonna go ahead and create our first template. A template is basically something that you could reuse over many, many times with a different variable each time. So we create our prompt template one and within the brand brackets where you see our topic is going to be a variable that we could provide to our template and replace it with whatever we can. Like topic could be cats, pizzas, whatever you want. And so we're creating the prompt template using the new prompt template constructor function to which we're passing our template and our input variables, which point to what variable to replace when we're calling this template. Now we're gonna create our first chain and our chain is gonna use the new LLM chain constructor. LLM means for the language model that we wanna pass. In our case, model refers to OpenAI because that's what we're using. And then our prompt, which is going to be our template prompt one that we just created together. Once all of that is done, 
and you created, let's say, multiple prompts, you're able to chain them all together. So here we have our variable all prompts chain, which is using the simple sequence chain constructor, which allows you to create a chain to which you could pass multiple chains together. So here we are repassing chain one and chain two. Verbose true flag is used to kind of show the output so you could kind of see what's happening when the chain is running. And like I said in the previous example, whenever the first prompt is completed, whatever the result is, is going to be passed as the input for the second prompt in this chain. So whatever we get from chain one is going to be passed to chain two. And you could chain as many chains as you want. My God, this is a mouthful to say. And finally, we are able to call the run method and we start with the first prompt, which is going to return our data. And we'll see this running in the wild in just a moment. By the way, can we re admire this new retro cyberpunk theme in Run.js? This is awesome. So the first thing we do, we're going to make sure that we call all of our dependencies that we need. We go ahead and set our, our open API setting, including our API key. And here we have three different prompts that I'm using. The first one is to create a synopsis. I don't know how you spell that, but that's kind of what I have. And basically what I'm saying in the first prompt, generate a prompt that AI LML model can use to generate a story outline based on the following topic. And then our first prompt is going to be our topic. Our second is our outline template, which basically says generate that outline based on the following synopsis, which is going to be passed from the first prompt that we have here. And finally, once you have the outline, use that outline to generate a story. And here we have our third template prompt, which is generate story based on the following outline where we pass our previous response from our previous prompt in our chain, which is going to be the outline that's created. And so once we have that, we create our templates using the new prompt template constructor. So here we have three different templates, one for synopsis, one for the outline, line and want to create and write the story, which is basically our third prompt here, which is going to generate a story based on our outline. Once that's all set, we go ahead and create our chains. We have three chains. We have our first prompt, generate synopsis. Again, we're calling our new LLM chain constructor function to create the first chain. Then we're creating a second chain and then we're creating our third chain. And then finally, we will save our overall chain to a variable using the new simple sequence chain constructor function to go ahead and add all of our chains in the order that we want them to call. So first it's gonna generate the synopsis, then it's gonna generate the outline, and then finally it's gonna show the story. Await overall chain dot run, which is the method on our chain that we created, passing our initial topic, or our first prompt, which in this case is going to be cats, is going to go ahead and generate that story. So let's click run and see what happens. And here we are, we have our story. And so once upon a time, there was a beautiful cat named Fluffy. Fluffy had a happy home with her loving family and so on. Wow, this is the amazing story that it generated. So let's quickly do a quick catch up. What did we cover today? We talked about what is OpenAI and what is Langchain. We breezed through it, but more importantly, I just wanted to show you a use case, an example of how to use chain prompts to create a chain of multiple prompts. And I wanna encourage you lastly to go ahead and give Langchain a try. I'm gonna to continue to building projects using OpenAI, using Langchain. And with every project, I'm gonna to try to make it better and better each time, try new and advanced features. So if you like that type of stuff, you could subscribe to the channel. If you don't like it, I'm still going to talk about how to get hired as a developer and all the other jazz that I've been talking about on this channel. But if you're curious of what references I used, um, I used OpenAI. You could check out the blog post, a link chain docs that I alluded to earlier in the video. Check out that Pinecone article that uh, shows another intro to Langchain. And again, a lot of these tutorials, they use Python, not too many tutorials using Node.js. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in that gap by creating a lot of these Langchain tutorials and AI tutorials using Node.js and JavaScript just for all of us JavaScript developers. But with that being said, if you're looking to get into AI, you should start learning Python because there's many, many other awesome things that you could do with Python. And if you're going to use Hugging Face or if you're going to see all these Jupyter notebooks that people show examples of how they do cool things, a lot of them, like 99% of them are using Python. So go ahead and if you want to do this stuff, start learning Python. It's just kind of something you have to do if this is that interests you, but you could get really far with JavaScript. Like I said before, I'm mumbling now. And thank you all. You are all awesome. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later in the next video.